World Bank's support to the countries for water security involves not only bringing finance but also bringing good practices in the sector uh, in information technology, water management, uh, non-revenue water and the, the gathering here at the IWA World Water Congress really is an opportunity for us to really understand what's really the state of play, what are the good practices and how in our programs that we finance in the water sector we could really deploy some of these practices on a very large scale. The second is uh, for us to be able to share how we see the challenges in the sector in the countries we work. I've been really enjoying the entire uh, Congress. There's been a lot of different activities, very interesting sessions throughout. Um, some of the keynote speeches have been really inspiring, really challenging to me as a young professional and just opening my eyes to a lot of the opportunities that exist in our industry. Um, I attended some, for example, PFAS treatment uh, uh, sessions, you know, just learning about the research that's happening now using all gay for treatment and other things like that so it's been a really um, I think enlightening uh, experience for me. I think here at IWA there is a again an elevated understanding of how important water is for our, our society at large and how that water community often in its own bubble can reach out across sectors and silos in society, working with health, working with climate, working with nature, working with the economy at large, working with urban and more rural actors and stakeholders to spur action outside of water. Working with innovation, working on collaboration and building partnerships is what we're hearing. We've heard it at the opening sessions that um, trying to solve tomorrow's problems the old way, it just isn't going to work. Well, when we uh, may, uh, established the Emerging Water Leaders Forum Organizing Committee, the objective was we have to uh, have a program around the theme of the Congress, which is shaping the future and digitalization is a very big part for young water professionals to embrace and in, not only enhance their skills but that is the future of the sector as well. Uh, technology is rapidly changing and water sector is not going to be any different and that's why it's very important that young water professionals adapt digital tools and AI and embrace it. I have a strong opinion that our technology is growing exponentially. However, integration of the technology and the education system is not really growing in the same pace. Unfortunately, we're focusing a lot on delivering. Professors are focusing on getting grants, students are graduating, surviving the, the education and their, their master, their PhD. And we are missing the time to sit, focus and rethink our education system. The challenges are so massive. Uh, we have to reinvent almost everything. Uh, for that, we need everybody. The good thing of that, of literally including everybody, you will have the most marginalized women and youth at the table. And they, by experience, alas, understand way better what is needed now to build a future that is equitable, that is sustainable and resilient.